हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू टूडेज ट्यूटोरियल इन आर चैनल ईश्वरी आर्ट दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू पेंट टूडे एंड लर्न हैव टू पेंट दीज यूजिंग वॉटर कलर्स आई एम यूजिंग वॉटर कलर्स फ्राम थोवी एंड आई विल बी लिस्टिंग ऑल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सेक्शन एंड दिस स्केच बुक इज फ्राम फॉरी आर्ट टेल सूती स्केच बुक इट इज ऑफ स्क्वेयर साइज एज यू कैन सी इट इज मेड अप ऑफ हंड्रेड परसेंट कॉटन हैंड मेड पीपल ऑफ थ्री ट्वेंटी जी एस एम सो आई हैव डन अ लिटल स्मॉल स्केच इन बिटवीन दर इज अ लीव एक्चुअली एंड द ग्लासेस आर रिफ्लेक्टिंग वेरी ब्राइट बिकॉज ऑफ द सन आउटसाइड आई एम जस्ट वेटिंग माई पेपर बट आई एल चेंज द पोजिशन फॉर यू सो दैट इट इज कम्फर्टेबल टू वॉच so i think you can see the little peak of the leaf flower now so sorry the leaf now and uh, i am trying to omit the leaf and then wet the entire area with water i am not wetting it with a lot of water but a good enough amount of water and i took prussian blue from the top i am gliding the color all over the area that is wet making sure that the bottom area is a bit little lesser darker compared to the top portion so the darker tones i am trying to apply in the top portion so that there is a movement in the sky being depicted just like that with some multiple strokes using the flat brush itself i am about to finish my sky in some places you can go with more multiple strokes but keep this in mind only dark on the top region and gradually toning down your blue color you can go with any kind of blue you have all right and now i will go for the next step you can see the center leaf left very nicely now i am taking a bit of paints gray and going in the corner so that it gives more depth to our painting so on the left side top and the right side top corners with a bit of curvy and swift motions i am trying to blend paints gray into the already existing prussian blue as you can see here a bit of curvy motions so that the focus is centered towards the leaf and this is the interesting part with 50% water 50% paint or even lesser paint i am adding the branches wet on wet make sure your paint mixture is not in a very runny consistency otherwise cauliflower effect will happen and you won't get that branches evidently so make sure the consistency is there but not with a lot of pigment and continue adding branches with the combination of thin and thick strokes as you can see very wobbly strokes and uh, try to leave a bit of breaks in the branches that gives a natural look for any kind of subject especially these subjects like the branches and buildings which are very straight and which we perceive as a very straight stick kind of structures but leaving breaks here and there will help a lot once this background is completely dried on the top of this dried one i am going with branches again these are the foreground branches i am going with the total paints gray dark tone you can vary the tones to show the middle ground of the branches as well i'll continue adding few branches before going into the leaf area here on the top right i'm adding a bit of bigger branches and from the bottom also in few places bigger branches and in few places smaller branches just to concentrate on the leaf bring the focus towards the leaf we can tweak our subject in this way if you want to see my real time classes you can check out my skill share i have around 11 classes over there and i'll leave the link for those in the description below 
If you have come till here and if you are enjoying the process, if you want to support me as an artist in my artistic journey, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be very grateful for each and every one of your subscription, comment, or uh, any doubt. Also, you can ask in the comments as well. So. The color I have chosen here for yellow is the cadmium yellow. It is a opaque pigment, not a transparent one. If you have a transparent yellow, you can definitely go ahead with it, but the output will be not exactly same and will be changing a bit. If you want to go with an opaque yellow like me, you can mix a bit of white gouache in the yellow that you are having, and it will be become a bit of opaque yellow, like you can see here. So that is why cadmium yellow has a unique pigment which allows us to paint on top of any small errors as well. Now once I have completely applied my yellow to the leaf which is like wet on dry along with the pigment and I am adding brown and green at few areas and trying to blend and create a seamless effect. I am using here a damp brush technique. So I am just uh, smudging them very smoothly and towards the edges to give that ruffled effect of the leaf. I am adding a bit of uh, dark color I can say with brown. So mostly with yellows the darkest shade goes as brown instead of black in the color range so you can also use uh, burnt umber this is burnt umber that i'm using if you don't have it you can mix burnt sienna with a bit of uh, black and then go ahead otherwise if you have brown in general also you can go ahead with that if you think it is not very dark enough you can mix a bit of paints gray or uh, black to get the darker shade I am re-wetting and blending at few places wherever I think it is required and you can see with the swift hand movements I am giving that sharp edge of the leaves a very structure and dimension to the leaves which is going to turn beautifully at the end of this work. And I am adding a lot of uh, spots here and there with my size number 2 Aquatone brush here. Very small dots and a bit of watery dots and then blending with them. Sometimes I use my hand to blend and brush of course. So just smoothly blending them in all to give a seamless effect of various colors playing within the leaf itself and to highlight few more areas i am taking cadmium yellow again and putting in the places wherever i feel it is required and then blending them make sure that you should not leave the strokes like that if they are not need not to be visible like the veins so the central veins and the veins I'm drawing now or painting now are the ones that needs to be visible. So we need not blend them. But any other strokes which we are putting in a semi-dry stage needs to be blended well. Otherwise hard lines and hard edges come. On top of this I would like to go with a bit of green just to add more drama to the leaf. And I don't want the green to be much visible. Hence, I am dabbing a bit and blending it in here itself because already the brown is a bit wet. So these are the few things which you can observe and remember to try out in your other projects and works as well. Again, I got back to the final layer of adding branches. Here, I am adding a bit of diluted mixture and at some places, I am going with a mix of both brown and black, giving it uh, another layer or another uh, depth effect instead of uh, just two shades of black and the background ones. So, that is how I try to mix the colors that are available within the palette that I have chosen and uh, try to create different shades and tints to give different depths of shadows. So as many branches as you want you can add but make sure you are not uh, cluttering them.
since it is a bit fast forwarded video if you want you can uh, reduce the speed of the video in the settings of the YouTube and then uh, see each branch stroke because uh, branches is a very general subject and it will take a lot of time. I chose to but speed up in this process especially for this one because most of the artwork is having this branches structure. Another tip why we concentrate on the corners is because uh, that is how we weave a subject. Here we are drawing the attention towards the center and I always choose to end my work with my signatures. So you also sign your artwork that you have done along with me. And I am very grateful that uh, you are here till the end watching this tutorial. If you have tried this one, don't forget to share on Instagram and do tag me at the rate Ishwari Art. I will be happy and do like, share and subscribe. Also leave a comment if you like this video. See you next time.